Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and we're starting here at the thumbnail of the previous uh, episode. We have our yellow science operational and now it's time to use the yellow science for something for the good of the world. And that's what we're going to do. So thank you very much everyone for following along this amazing series. I am enjoying it immensely and I just can't stop playing this bloody game here it is so amazing so uh, i hope you're enjoying it as much as i am whether it's you playing you watching or whatever it is this is great now what are we going to do today as night falls we are going to um, do some lava powered batteries for interstellar power network transmission yeah that's a bit of a mouthful what we're going to do is we're going to use these exchangers and then we are going to get to our third planet we're just going to have a look at it. It is a miserable place. There is no wind. There is no very little solar. There is no lava. There is no coal. There is no hydrogen. There is no nothing. So how do we get power there? My best bet is actually to go to my lava planet where we have a lot of geothermals. Fill up some batteries. Ship the batteries on our interstellar transport here. Discharge the batteries and uh, then send the empty batteries back. That seems overly conv convoluted, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. That means we need to first create some, create the necessary research to get to the interstellar logistics. That means up here, we looked at it last time, uh, we can also queue this up. It is already queued. We need to make some titanium alloy, and then we need to make some a lot of accumulators here. And that accumulators, unfortunately, require a lot more of this. So what are we going to do first? Let's start by take our little silicon production there we go get a bit more of that and let's get our silicon production where might you be you're here we are going to do a bit of a little extension to this and lack of item of course it's lack of item um they'll take that out here that's good and we'll take some of this out because we're going to need just a space because we do need to unfortunately convert a bit more of our silicon into something else. What are we going to convert it into? We are going to convert it into... Hmm. Nope, not there. That one seems good. And in here we are going to convert it into these crystal silicon. That's a one to one ratio. So that's pretty good. And that means we just need to build a little build here. It should be simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tap once for just a little space. There, there, and there. And then return it on the other side as well. This is just going to be super, super simple. No need to make it any more advanced. It simply serves the purpose of just getting this one, getting us some of this. This is not going to be our final production facility of this. It's just going to get us some batteries. And we now have batteries there. How much do we want? Let's go with 500. That is excellent. And now we have another problem over here, and that is the acute lack of uh, stone coming in. So we are going to tap all of this out. And I really shouldn't be doing this, but we do need just a bit more. So let's build a little location here for production. I'm going to take one of these. Uh, yep. We'll just put it here. And nope. Nope, and this, you're going to be doing this because I'm also going to use this one for something else later on. There. There. And these as well. And let's go with 1000. Get some drones in here. There we go. And request. Demand. Demand. There we go. That's going to be... Then we have something producing here. Now, the next part, I put a little uh, line around it so I don't accidentally stumble across it. Uh, let's see. I am going to build something here. Seems good, right? That seems like a good location. We want to build this accumulator first. Uh, these accumulators first. Because they, they're a bit... They're a bit annoying. Oops, there we go. That's not good. And I will be building my accumulators. They are here. You build them empty and then you fill them up. What do we need? We need three items inbound. I mean, some iron, some super magnetic rings, and then the new silicon crystals that we have. So that should not be a problem. What I'm going to do is I am going to take this outbound here. What? Oh, right, that's not even going to be... This is just going to be the inputs. Then I'm going to take the output on the other side, unfortunately. Okay, so that was... Iron is one, and super magnetic is one, and then the 
silica is another. Yep, we're going to put some of these in here. We are going to get, let's say, 2,000 of that. 1,000. Oh, wow. That's that's like way too high numbers. We don't really need that. Let's just go 500 there. I'll request it when I'm ready. Not right now. And I will then do some. Yeah, we're going to get some belts out. Let's take that one in. And I'm going to take the iron next to it. There we go. How many do we want? Uh, this is on a five second cycle, right? Yeah, five second cycle. So let's build five of these. One, two, three, four, five. This should be pretty good. And then there's also a bit of room on this side as well for getting. And uh, that's going to be the last one out here. I have enough room to build one, two, and three. That means on this side, I'm going to get outbound and go in there and I am also that means the uh, let's see <clears throat> more research yay faster drones that's gonna be excellent what are you gonna this and the last one because let's proliferate the damn thing when we can there we go get 500 of these and get let's say 1000 of that to be get started here I will set this to that will be accumulators. And we're trying to just build this at a decent pace. No reason to be slow about this. I really don't like that they are... Oops. That was not what I wanted. So that was so much for my decent pace of building here. And... There we go. And let's take these two out and get some batteries or uh, some power and here all good i will request this immediately because we really want that to be coming in first i'm gonna get it here over on that side damn it's so nice that you can just drag it in now that's so much nicer good are you coming you're coming you're kind of coming in here good we get also getting a bit of stone in here as well. This is it's charging. Wow, we have 50 flying out. That's a that's that's a lot. All right, but well that's that's fine. And let's request these in here. And uh, let's see. I'm kind of cautious about this, but it's going to be fine. Here we get the proliferation. We just want to make sure that we it, the whole thing works and it uh, it comes out here. So we can wait for these to come in. Everything is flying in. And we right, right now we need a lot more charging here, but it's going to be fine. I mean, we can send all 50 of them out to get the iron as well. And then we just wait for this to come back into this location. I'm going to put you in there. No, I can't. There we go. The first ones are coming in. The super magnetic rings are coming in. Yep. And the crystals are coming in. And now it's just the iron. The iron is pretty far away, so that should take a bit more time. But we want to get get it in here right well, as we look at this then the intention is that i will have a closed network that will go contain 1000 maybe i'll add more later on but it'll contain 1000 of uh, of the accumulators and that will be enough for us to sort of have some someone charging at the lava planet and someone discharging on the uh, barren desert planet out in the void and we got our first one that means it works it's happy everything is proliferated these are proliferated they are Oh, insufficient power supply. Ooh, look at that. That is weird. Why we... Oh, there we go. That... Some of it is... Why are some of them only one? That's weird. Okay, now they... There we go. Weird. I'll put that back in here. That should be fine. Cool. Next challenge will be the, the titanium alloy. Let's find a good space for the titanium alloy. Okay, so I said a, a good space. This is not a good space, but we're going to use it anyway. So let's uh, give it a shot and try to build something here. We only have three of these left. So what do we want to do? We want to start by looking at what we actually want to produce. Here, it's titanium alloy. Titanium alloy. Luckily, we have all the things needed. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty simple to do. I'm going to just build two lanes of 12. That means I can make... 
on 12 second it makes four so that means i can will get eight per second uh yeah eight per second that's actually quite a lot but we also use a hell of a lot of uh, sulfuric acid which is good actually because then i use the sulfuric acid to produce that produces some residual hydrogen that we will then use for for burning great well you're great i need to take this out and go like really deep in here one two three four five that's that's good maybe and how many lines in between i think i need two lines in between here yes so i'm gonna get titanium in here and i'm going to get what was the other one uh the other one was steel those are the lower quantities then i'm gonna have sulfur on the side and outbound i'm gonna have sulfur on this one and also sulfuric acid and outbound yeah that's pretty good now the messed up thing comes is since we have three items inbound one item outbound and also proliferator that means we have need five inputs five inputs that means we are going to need two of these so i need to find a way that i can build something like this there and how close can i make it yeah that's as close as oh there they should be in the same place okay Let's try and figure out what I can, what would make sense to do here. I think that this one is going to be the finished product. So we'll have the titanium, titanium alloy here, and it'll also be the highest quantity item. That means the other one will be the lower quantity item, titanium and steel, as well as the proliferator. Because oh, then I can bring the proliferator out here and then box it in that way. Now comes a bit of a challenge. So how are we going to do this? This is going to be sulfuric acid that will come in from here. So let's try doing that in a simple way. So far, so good. Let's also just mash down some of these just to get a sense of where they want to be. Ah, okay. Uh, this needs to then go up because I need to go over. Here. And if I bring it into this location, then I can... Then I can do use one of these, my favorite things, a random splitter. That can go in here, and then I can bring it into that location. Okay, well that's kind of awful, isn't it? It kind of is. Because this one will be outbound as well. And I'll go over to, I guess, this location and go up and in. Those are the two outbounds. The problem is that this can no longer go into... So either I need to go up or down or over or under or something like that. Or I move the whole thing a few tiles down. I'm going to move the whole thing a few tiles down. So let me do that. So after several iterations I, uh, of moving it back and forth, I realized that it's probably easier just to move this one a bit away. Because uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to... Now I still have this one as a, in a weird location. Yeah, we'll just do that. Here. Yeah. This is not going to be super pretty, to be honest. I'll go here, and then I'll move it up. And then I will move it mm, somehow down here. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong way. Ah, basically, what I want to do is I want to take... There, tit titanium, go directly in. And the next one, steel, go directly in. This one, go out, go above go maybe here and then oh it's still the wrong way it's from here and that's there and then go in here good and that should be everything right titanium out there Okay, so the point here is now that we can set up our proliferators. They are going to be here, 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 and that should be possible all the way through. Yes, it is. And then I can get my proliferation out from this location and in. And at this point, I feel pretty confident about it, so I should be demanding that. There, 
there, but not th not anything else. And obviously, I don't have any power for this. So let's get some power, and that will be over on the other island. So I can do that while I set up the rest of it here. Just get some power lines into this location. And then we just need the inputs and outputs, which should be pretty straightforward. We'll go with the first one. That'll be in, 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 in. That's the part in and out, in and out. And that will be, I dare I say, proliferated down the line. That's it. And we should have this one if I only had some more. Luckily, we have that in tons of these. And just take half. Half in here and the other half in there. I will be requesting the first one. Once we get that in, then we should be good. Okay, they are still only 25 so once i have these research then the next research is i want to do is actually down here where we can then go uh better faster better better faster oh hold on we should probably also get that that's six percent ore consumption uh better and okay no q fuel yeah, well anyway that's gonna be uh <laughs> going for a bit do we think we can set up the other ones yeah let's set up the other ones right We'll set up the other ones. They'll take a while to get in. And over here, we will take that one in as well. Do we want we want 2,000 here? And we want to store 5,000. 5, I think 2,000 will be sufficient for now. And we have everything coming in and we get the proliferation in first. That's how it always must be. Always proliferation stuff in first. Is this taking a really long time? Nah, it's alright. It's about one minute left. It's up because it's 1,000, 1,000. And then it's faster movement speed in faster sail speed, which is super handy. We get everything. We got our sulfurous com sulfuric acid coming in. And then we just need the titanium and iron. They are coming in. The titanium and steel coming in. It has problems keeping up with the discharge here because of the power cycling. But that's... It'll be fine. It'll be fine once it's filled up the initial parts. So here we are, this is good, and oh, look at that, we get our first titanium coming in. Let's watch and let's see if they go on the belt. They do go on the belt, that is excellent. So what do we do from here once we have all of this done? Where is this steel coming in? And not, No steel yet, no steel yet, but they are going to come in here. Uh, yeah, so what are we going to do from here is we are going to handcraft, yes, handcraft. Uh, oh, it's very, probably easier to look at this. We're going to handcraft five of these. One for this location, two for the lava location, one where we placed where we have this titanium and one where we have the processors. Then we are gonna have one extra, thank you for the drive engine upgrade, one extra for uh, for the new planet and then one extra. And then we're also gonna have a lot of the uh, smaller ones as well as hopefully by now we should have 1000 uh, accumulators accumulated. So that will be once we have this and we can see that it is working. See, this is only one, a single, but that doesn't matter. Everything here will be proliferated to two ranks here, right? Yep, we are, except for the lack of uh, lack of power here. It's really interesting why this one says only 12.5 extra products. Somehow the steel is not, is it because this one just sort of stutters when it doesn't have enough power? It might be. Well, we definitely need more power. That's uh, something else we can look into. Uh, I think we should be... Let's have a look at that. Yes. I see the problem here. I made a little change here. I I'm going to show you the mistake. I made a little change to this part. And that means that the hydrogen that should have gone on this belt up to the power is now a red cubes. But as you all know, red cubes don't have the best fuel value. So that's embarrassing. Let's... Uh, let's <clears throat> Pretend that isn't the case. So a bit of time has passed and uh, it uh, it turns out that uh, hydrogen is a much better fuel source than uh, red cubes. So here we have proliferated hydrogen coming in and that feeds into this part and we uh, our power is it's all right. It's not great, but soon when we have done all this research, we are going to be done with the research and then we can start on other things. So what are we going to do here? We have a uh, while I've been waiting for the uh, accumulators to accrue then i have handcrafted a few things i'm going to start by doing this part so what i'm going to do here is uh, this will be requesting titanium 
that's not titanium, and processors that let's be consistently inconsistent. This should also be providing some of these to the other planets if uh, they want to. And then it should also be providing some of empty accumulators. There. So that's all there is to it. And I, of course, need to get it powered. First thing we're going to do is take the stuff from here. Oh, that was also almost running out. And over this one. There. And I can then take these two out because they should not be there. I can take whatever titanium I have in here, uh, still have remaining, and then put it into here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remotely demand it and then locally supply it. Remotely, remotely demand and locally supply. I am going to take... How did that not split not go well? There you go. 50 in here and 10 of these. So that's ready to go. I am also going to request, that's actually way more important, I am going to request some silicon. There. So now it's requested. Like 10,000? Sure. If we can, we'll do it. Employee of the month. Upgrade. Upgrade all sorters to level to. Yeah, okay. So that was a sorter upgrade. Psh, yep. Whatever. And I don't think I want this many. This one will be the other way around. This one will locally demand it and remotely supply it. This one will locally demand it. And that's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot here. So we are actually getting quite a bit already. Are they coming in already? Yeah, they are already coming in. So this means they are available here for pickup from uh, when we get it. So this is now preparing this location with requesting globally from the other locations and all I need to do now is fly to the other location. I don't think I should be continuing to build this to be honest uh, because if I do that then I will be having too many. So I'm just going to turn this off. What I'm going to do is I am going to fly to my level planet Everest and then we're going to set things up there. We have landed near the processor build and as you can see here we are not getting any more processors this is all the processors we have and we are never going to get any more well or maybe we will because uh, there's just no more on this planet if we look at the planet there is zero silicon left so we are going to need to do something else and this is where we get one more of these big ones here and what are we going to do we're simply going to do let's put it there casimir crystals uh, the research just keeps trickling in so, we're going to set this in. And honestly, there is no reason to do any of this. I can just put it in here. You will be... That one. And set up our first tickets, please. Our first interstellar logistics. And I will also get this in here. So, you can see they are already... Already demanding him from their home planet. That is excellent. And... Now, that's good. Now, what else are we going to do? We are going to use uh, charging. And this is where things get a bit more tricky. Uh, but also super cool, because I absolutely love these. Uh, to the question of... I, I'm sure that someone will go like... Uh, let, let's see. Let's see if we can put the tone of voice correctly. Artificial suns are so much better. Yes, they are. They're actually... They're boringly better. That's how much better they are. They are so good that they are really boring to use. And you know what? I don't have artificial suns in my uh, pocket right now. And so we are going to use the tech we have. And that tech we have is super cool. The idea of having here, I am going to take, we are going to request, 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 empty, 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 empty here. We're going to request those empty ones and I'll request, I'll request as many of them as I can there. Because I want all the empty ones coming in here. Then I also want to provide these to the galaxy. Technically not for the galaxy with this small build here. But just to uh, to the third planet that we want to go to. Because we can't do anything unless we actually have that sorted. So I am going to take this. It's going to be set to charge. I also absolutely love the animation of these buildings. There is just nothing that isn't super cool about them. Maybe the size of them. They are and then I go out here and bring it back. So they have some outputs. 
Yeah, that's super sticky. And there. All right, it's all good. So what are we waiting for? We are waiting for these 1200 to come in. They will be going in. Then they will start charging using whatever excess power we have on the planet. And you can see we have plenty of excess power, about 180 excess power. Well, lo and behold, how much is this consuming when it's fully running? It's consuming 45 type four. That is 180 megawatts of power. So this one will consume all it. But it gets better than this. It gets better. What if we prepare that we are also going to request some of that inbound yeah uh, because if i did that then i could just simply kill this and kill this and then go in a the fantasy world we live in where we have uh, just we can just request this as we like we are going to request it in here so what i'm doing now is actually preparing it for just a bit later that what we want to do we want to set up our silicon production at the third planet and then we can go out here and remove the rest while we wait for the other one to come in and that's just gonna be like this 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 all of this is completely useless now and maybe not useless if that actually can is part of a line here There you go. All of this will now come in from this location. We're not going to be building anything anytime yet, but when we get it, this will automatically flow in here. Super. Do we have, yes, they are charging. Look at that. So it takes, in this case, when they're consuming all the power, they will, it takes three seconds to fill up the entire thing here. And that accumulator here or is going to be full. And then we have full accumulators being returned here. Now, that means we can now go to the third planet, and from that planet, I'm just going to make sure I have power, there you go. From that planet, we can we can start requesting these in here, if we just have some things. And I just want to make sure that we have some power. Uh, we have a few thermal power plants in the pocket, so we can burn some of our hydrogen fuel if we need it, just to get the first one going. All right, another research, and set off to our far away barren desert planet out here but the great thing about that one is it has tons of space to work on so that's gonna be nice no oceans at all also no wind but no oceans all right i will fly out there and uh, as i always used to do on my twitch series then when i was warping through space i would just do a call out to my patrons so thank you very much all of you lovely patrons who are supporting the channel i could not continue to do what i do here without you so thank you very much patrons i'll see you at starving here we are coming in hot at 2000 speed. There we go. And we landed on this beautiful planet that has absolutely no oceans of anything. Oh, look at that craters and stuff. It doesn't have any atmosphere. And what does that mean? That means that if I place one of these, oops, forgot about that. Build a wind turbine on a planet with no atmosphere. If there's no atmosphere, there's no wind, wind power either. And here we have the only silicon, the pure silicon we have on this planet. So I think this is probably going to be a good place for us to land and uh, make landfall. So let's uh, see where we are. Let me just see. Uh, okay, so it's kind of flying this way. What I also need is I need to tap all of the stone and start converting that. Right, this is going to be our landfall. Uh, our place for we land to start with and what we're going to do is we are simply going to place one of these now this is not going to work because it does, it's not going to be able to send things out yet but it will be able to eventually and i will also take some more here charging that one and what are we going to request at this point we are going to request getting in some full Accumulators, that's the most important thing. How many? Just 1,000. And I will... I'll do that. If I had 400 ready at the sending station, they would be coming in immediately. But I do not. Then I am going to... Be, that's fine. And this one will just be whatever I produce, I'll make it available so that the other one will be uh, greedily consum consuming it. Then we are going to request... Also, some of this inbound. Uh, let's do 2,000. I there will be locally, re uh, globally requested, locally provided. I think we can do that. 
it'll be sent out from my home planet. Then we are going to send this one out. This will be locally requested and globally provided. That will be the two locations, two other uh, planets. They are hungering for more silicon and that's the role of this planet. Things are coming in and uh, then while we are waiting for this one to work, then um, we can do two things. We can set up a little power plant so that we get the power so we can actually send it out in an easier way. Um, let's do that. It's kind of weird to do this. That actually don't want to do that. I just built the power plants, I think. There and the power plants are going to be. Oops, 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 oops that's not unfortunately not happening. And there, four. That one goes in. Not enough to. It has to be able to fulfill at least 10% of the power. Otherwise, it doesn't even start up. And we are now power load is 600. So it is starting to charge here. That's all I need to look to see. Because that means if it charges, then I can do that one. Minimum load. That means I am going to send one out from here. If it... There we go. One takes off. Because it'll now get, uh, it'll now instead of this one being able to have the 400 waiting for 400 to go in, it'll send it out if there's only if there's 200 available. So now I'm going to send it off. I'm going to build the most important part, and that's the full accumulators here. No, that's not how it works. Uh, this will be this one, two, three, four, now everything is horrible about this. This one will be charging. I love this card about when you start set up in, uh, setting up a new planet. It's always like uh, you have to remember to do things in the right order. That's why we do this carefully so that uh, when I don't have a local power source. There. I goes in. And then on the other side we bring the empty ones back again and in there we go these are just churning 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 that is good that's to be expected and we got more proliferator mark 3 that's kind of expensive as we can see if we look at the overlay here we got the first deliveries coming in that is the deliveries of our proliferator spray paint coming in being delivered and then uh, they will be going back to their home planet the one that we sent out and uh, land and let's see where that is it's still heading towards Everlist, so that's gonna take a while to do that what can we do in the meantime we can do two things we can wait that's a good one or we can start doing some design so i'm actually going to do some design while we wait because why not so the whole purpose of this uh, this place is that we are going to make... Uh, we'll just use this line. Why not? Here. We are going to, to be consuming the silicon ore that we are either mining over here or producing from all of the stone on this planet. Then I will be producing this into here. And that should be pretty simple. Yep. So what do I want to do? Well... I do want to proliferate this because I think that's worthwhile. And uh, so let's do this. So if I proliferate it, this belt can carry 12 per second. Don't even get me started on stackers. They're not worth it. Or pilers, stackers. They're not worth it in this context uh, at all. You're not saving anything. So, so don't, uh, don't, let's go not go there. Right. So plus 20%, that means I can do 10 of these. If I do 10, that means I have to make sure that I do a proliferator here. I'll turn it this way for no reason at all, but uh, they can be turned either way. And I'll do the first one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. That's ten. And then we go back. And I also make sure that I proliferate the return. And since this is silica, then it is a two, two to one recipe. So I'm going to take another one of inbound here and then I think this is a good time for us to build it 
that one. And the proliferation as well. There and here. And we'll build the recipe. At some point, we'll probably get the power. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll build it without having a uh, power. And that's going to go in here. This one will be on the inside. Yep. And here comes then the easy part, that is copy and paste. And then I can just hook up the other lines on this side. Ah, these don't hook up that easily when doing this. And this is return and out here. And we put the proliferators back again. And the only thing we're missing is then the proliferator. Oh, right. We also need the proliferator here. I'm going to get... No, not... F there, 50. And I will request this locally. Demand. Oh, it's coming in. That means there is a bit of power coming up from up here. Huh. Interesting. And then all the way through. Damn, this is nice. This is a nice design. I like it. Very, very simple. Making 10 in, 12 out. Proliferated all the way through. Oh, look at that. We got it just as we got it here. Uh, this chart. I'm an idiot. <laughs> let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. And they're discharging instead. Yeah, we go. Now they are slowly discharging and they are now providing the power that is needed. And it's glorious. Perfect. They're discharging. And that means we can now hook it up to this part. And I can set this one to demand. And then supply out here. Actually, not yet. Because we just need to set these two up. The, these two miners. Let's set those up. And then we'll see that the whole thing is working. And there we go. The mining is enabled. We are starting to get just a bit of... Uh, just a bit of silicon ore coming in. And we'll immediately take the silicon ore and demand it over here. And this is coming in at a pretty nice rate. But not a nice enough rate. You can see these belts are not full. And when they come out here, I'm going to be consuming 10 per second for each line. So that times 6. So I, that will be 6 times 10. And I just realized, wow, you can delete your comment now about uh, me forgetting this one. Because I've remembered it again. There. And we are getting the very first bits of fully proliferated uh, silicon ore. And what we'll see is that the silicon ore will be transported there into here. And we're getting the very first ones. They are already coming in. And as soon as this one gets to 800, then we will be uh, we'll be seeing the first delivery back to one of the other planets. Because everything here is load vessels is at 100%. So as soon as it has to get to 400 before it'll go out. You can see that it's going pretty quickly. Like there's 300 inbound. Yeah, this is a really nice pace. This is 48 per second. So as, as long as we can keep up with the silicon ore inbound, which we cannot, that's the trick here, is then uh, we should be good. Is it? Yeah, everything here is being consumed. And we should see the first ones coming in. I really, 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 really want to see this one uh, lift off with one of these uh, deliveries just to see that it uh, it is actually working. There we go. That's the one. We just sent out the first silicon ore back to one of the other planets. That is glorious. Now, what is the next thing we want to do? Well, it's quite obvious. We want to tab 17 million stone bricks. That's going to be a really shitty thing to do. So uh, that's something I will spare you for. And uh, I'll just jump ahead until that is done. And then we can set up just the last bit of thing, which is the uh, conversion of stone into... Uh, yeah, stone into silicon because this silicon is not keeping up with what it should so we are going to need a lot more silicon from here to uh, to keep the other planets happy and fed 
and welcome back so here we have have it we have our constant production here but look at every single stone location it is done 17 million is now cons now available i have moved myself into you can see there's a big spot here there's no power or nothing at all uh, so we're going to move it right here and uh, we're going to start building a stone conversion thing yeah so this is going to be our meridian i will build on the meridian or will i build one i'll build one in from this meridian here all right what is the objective of this this is simply going to be stone into silica no proliferation why no proliferation because i don't need proliferation for this it's stone i don't want to waste coal and power to get more uh, silica out of or to save save on some stone production what this one is it's going to be a very simple build but it's going to be an important one for what we want to do. So let's build here. One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. That is good. I think that's fine. And that's an outbound. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the thing is, this is a recipe that takes 10 every 10 seconds. So it consumes one per second, but it only produces one every 10 seconds. So I can easily share this belt out here between two lanes and that will go from here but on the other hand what i cannot do is overstrain this right this is a uh, it I, I could make many more of these but the outbound is the most important or the, the amount that i can handle and i don't believe that one of these can handle more than four lanes at this point so let's go there and that one and let's get some power so there's no time lapse of this because the builds we've been doing today are so small and uh, so simple that well we just they just built they just built and we're just gonna leave a graciously uh, is that that's better yeah, yeah yeah i thought it was a bit off there and you go into here. And that's done. We have 50 here. I am going to demand that one. We can just blip this one up here. Bah, that's not really good. Let's keep it like this. Although, for the beginning, let's get all of them out. Just, just for the hell of it. I do maybe want to set it to 24. Because remember, our power is dependent on getting something in. So there we go. We've sent out all 50. That's a good good start. And that gets us 250. For some reason we had a few of these picked up. There we go. And that is now starting to come in here. And that will give us a lot of a lot of extra. Let's look over at the previous one this year. Uh, it is still, it's looking good because, well, honestly, a bit of time has passed. So we have all of these things are being... Uh, being done it looks great things are being sent in and out and uh, we have what we need and if i want to make make more of these well it is so simple that i just copy and then find some place that i think is a new home for this maybe like that yeah sure let's build another one of these it really is that simple and whether i want to convert all of my stone into um, into silicon i don't think i want to also power wise i can only go up to 180 with the power we have on this planet right now we can always get more but it'll there that's good and why are they not powered that's funny how this one is powered but that one is not powered huh let's get these in here we'll do that then we're making sure that it is powered now these ones are again going out getting us more silicon and that means also we can scale the other one up as much as we like and that will be be working but again the constraint here is not the production capacity it's not really the resources because we have a 17 million stone to consume and we still have a bit of productivity that's not going to be the issue the issue is definitely going to be the power now we could actually get more power we could put more geothermals on the lava planet and more exchanges and then just ship it back and forth that's actually not really a big deal but i think in the near future this one will transition from being exchanger fed like this into getting 
uh, getting some hydrogen from the gas giant. Because the gas giant is, there's a gas giant in this system called Moon. Because what else would you call a gas giant? It has hydrogen and fire ice. And yes, you can use the fire ice. And yes, you can use the hydrogen with the, uh, um, with the orbital extractors. You can do that. And if you will not lose the, lose the achievement. I saw someone who linked in my Discord, Fat Salad, was happily enough linking exactly where he was consuming it and then got the achievement anyway. So that is very nice for me to get that confirmation. That means we can use the fire ice and we can use the hydrogen from the moon and still and not do lose our research, our, our achievement for that. So with that, uh, thank you very much everyone for joining. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. This is a one way to do a planetary exploration that we can, uh, we can do. So we are uh, we now have it, we can do these exchanges, we have a now nice little network of exchanges and uh, these lava filled batteries are then fueling this planet and our massive stone to silicon conversion and that means at this point we don't have a short uh, a sh shortage of anything, we've now been in a really stable situation where we have pow enough power, enough silicon, so we, are, and we, are, we have a steady way of transporting things back and forth between the planets, that is excellent, so what will the future hold? Well, let's see. I don't know. Well, I do know, but uh, let's uh, let's see what uh, what we find as the next interesting thing to start up. If you have some good ideas, then uh, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, if you enjoyed it and you are still watching and not asleep, then uh, be sure to hit the like button if you liked what you what you've been what you've been seeing for the last half an hour or a bit more. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and as always, stay effective.